So we're here. Phil is back on the filler stream. Uh, you began it. You ended it. How do you think it went today? Uh, it's fulfilling. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Way more reaction, dude. I hope the, I hope the camera. I hope the mics are on. Uh, the mics on. are on. Are they? Okay. Yeah. They're hot. They're hot. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're playing Canadian Highlander. Yeah. I don't think I've ever played Canadian Highlander on a stream. Two out of two, I missed it. Yeah. Yeah. Two out of two streams, I missed Canadian Highlander because. What are we having this weekend? We are uh, the Canadian Highlander uh, tournament, tournament at three thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty dollar entry, an additional Plus five dollars in the pool per person yeah. signed up at Enter the Battlefield in Newmarket. Yeah. You and David Shrive. <laughs> very very good. Yep. Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Yep. Postal code? I do not remember the top of my head. I don't order enough pizza here. All right. True. Now you gotta ask Mr. Connor. <laughs> yeah, he would definitely know. Definitely know. Um, okay, so what? I'm on mono blue merfolk. I'm on Abzan recurring survival. Gross. That's uh, fair. That's very fair. I have played against it before with Dave's deck, uh, his land right. destruction deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, which is weird. Yeah, but how do you I, feel getting into Camlander? Uh, I like it. Yeah, it's it's um. Piece. Uh, it doesn't seem super solved. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it seems like there's a lot of space for to play almost like kind of whatever you want. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I like it. I'm I, I'm a brewer, right? So that's fair. I'm not. I'm getting a little old for it. A little old for brewing. Yeah. Oh, do we have a life thing? Uh, possibly. I I'm a, I do not have a life thing on my phone. My phone's kind of broken too. <clears throat> Bye. Bye, Thomas. Good. Stay safe. So, we're going to need someone to click on cards at some point. Yeah. Or we can just explain it. True. We'll go from there. Alright, Mr. Brennan. Okay. Uh, Chris. Yes. Can you tilt my camera? It should just tilt backwards with the handle. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, Chris. Oh, yeah, they're running. They're crazy. It's 10 o'clock. Oh. It's almost time to go. Your call. Uh, I'll go first. Oh, why am I cutting? I cheated, that's why. Okay, good. Are you Thomas? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just double checking that right here. Okay, good. Main reason is because I need to see my graveyard. Oh, uh, yeah, so your glare starts there, I think? Okay, I'll go like that. Yeah, you're going first, right? Uh, yeah. I'm going to attack your, your deck of cards. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll keep. Keep? That's a. <laughs> that's a scary. Uh, I will. Sure, I'll keep. This is gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Uh, Snow Covered Island. Yeah. Mock Sapphire. Yeah, that's that's a Mock Sapphire. Uh. Oh, I lose. Mist Caller. Okay, yeah, sacrifice and turn target. If a non-token creature would enter battlefield and wasn't cast exile it. Yeah, like reanimating. Yeah. Cool. I am a very fair deck and I cast creatures. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn. All right, my turn. Yep. I can't believe people play moxes here. Or should you not? Uh, no, you're fine. Uh, Verdant what do you mean? Verdant Catacomb. Go ahead. What? What is? What's the deal? Nah, like, should I not have proxy? No, 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 no. I'm mean, like playing mox. Moxes. What are your ten points? I don't tell me. Uh, there's three. There's three, yeah. That's three? I thought it was four. Yeah. No, Soul Ring's four. I don't play a lot of Camlander, it's one may tell. One may, one may see. In fact, I've got, I, they're, they kind of, they kind of like, Phil, you should play Camlander. I'm like, mm, Phil, you should play Camlander. Okay. So, I have cards. No proxies, by the way. Oh. Yeah, no proxies in mine. Uh, is land. Yeah. Swing. Yeah, yeah, and then he. Um... Merfolk Wind Robber. Okay, that's the mill card, right? Uh, one one with flying deals damage. You mill a card. I can sacrifice it and draw a card if you have seven. 
Eight. 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 Nice. Yeah. Right, 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 right. That's uh, that's uh. That's it. Okay. Uh, crack. Any sure. response? Um, Attempt to patch. <laughs> Stifle. Stifle. That's what I asked. Yep. Mono blue is very good on the fight. Yeah, I forgot that they also play Stifle. Uh, pass. Ooh. Okay. No, let's just go to game two. I forgot the stifle. Game two? I have no lands. Okay. Yeah. I have no lands, and I'm very, very behind. I've been having that issue, actually. Dave. I played a couple games with this. Dave. Dave, he got it. Dave. Dave, can you click on cards? Yeah. Let's go to game two, and I will be on the play. Wait, you're already to game two? What happened? I just gave up. I stifled his fetch. Yeah. I was on two lands. <laughs> And I forgot that, yeah, Mono Blue plays Stifle. So that was my fault. And I've been having some land problems. Uh, you know what you should do? Play Mox. No. I don't have any more point slots. Adjust your mic a little bit so that it's either pointing upwards towards. Can you say something, please? Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, oh, it might be because Thomas's mic was like turned down. Thomas is kind of loud. Well, they're saying they can't hear Phil. I just, uh, yeah, okay. Just yeah, how's this? That's good. Is that okay? Is that yeah, better? I mean, I try my best. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn up your, your, uh, your pack. Your pack. My fanny pack. Can you take the pack off real quick? You don't want to reach over? Just the plus? Yeah, plus. Okay. Uh, go look at the front pack. Yeah, that's good. Take it easy. Okay. Uh, so for anyone watching, and anyone watching on YouTube, uh, we're running a promotion for the stream. Uh, the promo code is ETB Filler. Uh, it's capital ETB P H I L L E R. You get 10% off your order at endofthebattlefield.ca. It's running till Monday, so uh, this VOD should go up on YouTube on Friday. We get the weekend. Uh, you can get some. Well, apparently it's 10% off everything right now, so. Uh, uh, we'll see what happens, but mm -hmm. yeah. From, if you want some cool stuff, we're in LGS. Yeah. We like selling things. We like cards. We also like. If we sell things, then we can do more things to support the community. Exactly. Right. Like, for example, more streams. Yeah. More streaming. Because all of this costs costs money. Money. Yeah. My cards cost. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> no, I'm my my mox sapphire. Yeah. I, uh, the one thing I don't like about Kaelin is uh, shuffling like double sleeves 100 card decks. Yep, yep, double sleeves indeed. Um, I'm going first. You're going to play. Okay. Yep. I also get angry. Uh, I'd like to cut your deck. Okay, sure. No, I didn't cut and you got a mox. <laughs> Yeah, what was the? That was an interesting reaction from you. What was? The, what's the deal? No, I'm just like, no, it's fine. I don't mind. I was just teasing you about like, oh yeah, right. Moxes are moxes are moxen are playable in this. Yeah. Format. Yeah. One like a tempo deck, so like That's fine. having two mana on turn one yep. seems good. That's true. Very very true. Seven. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. I'll try my best. I will try my best. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going first, right? Uh, yeah. So, Dave, What's up? my turn one was Mox, Island, Mistcaller, the one that like blocks reanimation. Yeah. With mana up for a cycle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep and then probably lose. Get to go? Sure. All right, pay you. Uh, is land. I'm going first. No, no, no. I'm not done. I'm not done. Sure. Bay you. <laughs> Elvish mistake. Sure. Okay, go. Now I'm done. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh maybe this is a different play then. Okay. Island. Yeah. So would you like me to get a letter from you that you guys don't need your property? And that, uh... Pass? No, no. I'm, no, no. I would never say you're right. No, no. No, I, I was here. I walked to the back and I tripped on a property. And I hurt myself. Land? 
What else? Uh, sure. Alright, when it enters the battlefield, I search my library for a forest card, correct? That's what Wood Elf says. That's not what that Wood Elf says. Does it enter the battlefield tapped, tapped. or untapped? I think tapped. I forgot. Uh, when Wood Elves comes into play, search your library for a forest card and put that card into play. Untapped. Then Ooh, search your, then shuffle your library. Untapped. This is turn two, man. Yeah. What's happening? Uh, on the play? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm on the play, man. Uh, Triumph. But Triumph enters the battlefield tap. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna brainstorm. Sure. Brainstorm lock. Ugh. Oh, I don't like these. I put two cards back, right? Two, board, two, card, blah, 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 blah. two cards back on top. Yes, please. On top draw. Yep, on top draw. Uh, I'm going to pay two life. Okay. Show me your hand. Ah, oh, see my secrets. Birthing Pod, Mind Twist, Restoration Angel, Demonic Tutor. Oh my god. Uh, four points, two points. I have seven points in my hand. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. And you have four mana. Ah, uh, four mana. Can I just, can I see the actual cards? Yeah, of course. Um, Mind Twist sucks. Mind I Twist is a great card. I Don't hate it so much. Don't you dare. Um, I think I'm going to do Mind Twist. Why are you, what are you doing? That you see my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you see my hand. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you see my hand. What do you want to Oh, sorry, do? I draw a card. Yeah, you draw a card. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah. You're going to steal my mind twist? Just wait and see. Misdirection? Uh, is it target player? Target player? Yeah. Might do that. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pass. <laughs> no, I think this already got away from me. It well, depends, right? Because if I do walk into like a random, 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 uh, random, random thing, it might still be a problem. Brandon, how many cards do you have in your hand? Seven. Okay, it looked like eight for a second. This is Calander. Anyway, uh, I'm going to tap three. I'm going to pay two life. I'm going to play Birthing Pod. Did you have eight? No, yeah, seven. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna memory lapse that. Okay. Okay. Two. Set. Attack. 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 You're up. Tempo play. Uh, I'm so. So. Oh, you're not behind. You're you're doing okay. You have some cards in your hand. Yeah, but I'm gonna get a birthing pod in my in my face soon. Yeah, their birthing pod's a pretty good card. I forgot my fours. What are my fours? You're playing. What are you? Uh, what's your deck name, Phil? Absent recurring survival. Rexer. Yeah, Rexer. Rexer. His land. No rec or sir right now. <clears throat> birthing pod. What's my fours? I don't remember my fours. Uh oh. Um, oh, yeah, I remember my fours. Crazy. I'm going to bounce that to your hand. It turns the tap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Cool. Good to go? Yeah. <clears throat> Draw the pod. So I haven't played many games with this deck, mm -hmm. so I'm still trying to, like, figure out... No, that's okay. What... You're doing pretty good. ...plays to make? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to attempt it again. I'll pay two. Uh... <laughs> Sure. That's probably not the most ideal play. I'm getting tired, too. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. 
Yeah, can, you can activate that at any time or only as a sorcery? Sorcery. And have to pay two mana. Or one mana, two life. <coughs> Somebody once told me no. Wait, no, no, I can't sing that. That's a, I'm going to get the MCA. <laughs> um, two? Yeah. Uh, Lol Mage Mentor. Uh, whenever an ability, yeah, sure. Whenever a spell ability you control counters a spell, you might put a 1 1 counter. Oh, okay, tap 7 counter target. Okay, cool. Uh, Island. Yeah, pass. Sorry. Well, I drew it. Of course. It's almost as clear as day. Uh, I want to pay two. I'm going to uh, Question. Attempt, yeah. Stifle? Yep, that works. So I, sa if I, I have to sacrifice it as a part of the cost. So you can stifle it. Yep. Sure. Uh, I need a merfolk. Yep, you got it. Very, very good. All right. Ooh, pretty good. I think I am not winning this one. <clears throat> Elvish Mystic? Yep. Demonic Tutor. Cards in hand, sorry. Uh, three. Demonic Tutor. Sure. Is this tempo? No, this is tempo. <laughs> Am I playing it's tempo? Very, very good. Good tempo. You know, I built this deck. Hmm? I built this thing. No, it's very good. Uh, I'm just, like, I don't know. I've never played blue, so I really wanted to just make a blue deck. No, that's And just see, like, just try and learn how to play. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very terrified of your deck because you are very good at magic and you're now tutoring and you have a <laughs> birthing pot in play. Walking into things, though, right? So. Um, I gotta stop singing too. <laughs> uh, Let's anything else going on? Oh, uh, if you if you're not coming to our uh, Canlander uh, event on Saturday, oh, yeah. uh, you should. But then also, you could go to the Legacy One K in Oakville. Where's that picture? Uh, not available. Okay. Uh, it's on Discord. I don't know. Um, so that is at. Uh, What's that? 490 Spears Road, uh, 12 p.m. I think we're allowing 15 proxies, $40 entry. We had 27 people show up last time. Yeah. It was a big success. Oh, for Legacy. Uh, for, yeah, last Legacy 1K. Fantastic. Yeah, um, yeah the Legacy event in Oakville actually did awesome. pretty well as far as, I, as far as I know. So yeah, they got 27 people, I think. Yeah. You're good? Yep. Awesome. So, yeah. yeah, if you're down to play some Legacy, we're doing a yeah, 1K okay. in Oakville. Yeah. Brandon, if you play Legacy, what would you play? I don't even know what decks are available. What type of deck would you play? Is there a, a, Ra a Racto Sacrifice deck in Legacy? Oh, for sure, right? I mean, Reanimator is a thing, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you want to trade with me, right? All right, sure. Uh, here's. Yeah, seven. Five. Uh, Mutavolt? Yeah. Pass. I'm not liking. Uh, no, I'm getting wrecked here. Well, I think, like you have two points on yeah. the battlefield, and Brennan doesn't. Yeah, but counter spells are a thing. I think I misfetched something. Um, you didn't fetch. No, I miss. I miss DT to something. Oh, you should have got something. Oh yeah, Brennan. There's Merfolk in uh, in Legacy. There is Merfolk. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, I play Legacy Merfolk. Uh, no, actually, if Thopter Factory is still in uh, chat, he said he had a, a Legacy Burn deck that I could play. Um, uh, I'm going to activate Burning Pot. You're going to try. Uh, yeah, you, I think you're going to succeed. Yeah, you succeed. What are you going to get? Two drop. <laughs> True. 
<laughs> See, also, like, I don't know what, like, cards are in the format. It's okay. Every card is in the format. Uh, yeah, just about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, they're, sta they're still staples, right? Like, what I now know Ragavan is in every red what, deck. What, what card is in the format? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> But trying to like familiarize with like common things that you'll see in like every sort of deck. Right? All the elementals. Yeah, essentially, essentially oh. you are trying to pick out like what the best card is. Yeah. And that that's not always apparent. And like. Voice of Resurgence. Yeah. Uh, Whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn, when Voice of Resurgence dies, create a green white elemental token with creep power and toughness equal to each creature. I that's control. gross. Does it? It's good. Yeah. Uh, it's in play. Or it's in play, I guess. Yeah. I potted it. Yeah. Uh, and then I will. <sighs> all this shuffling, though. That's the only problem with pod and survival of the fittest. It's shuffling. The shuffling. Yeah. And I already don't like shuffling. <laughs> but you like this deck. Yeah, it's okay. It's fun. I like recurring survival. I just like birthday pod too. <laughs> Uh, team unbanned pod, modern. Are you are you playing sp the spikes? Three. Uh, mix. <laughs> so you make a two two if I counter it. Correct. Um. <laughs> mana available. Zero. Uh, I'm gonna have Blair on my graveyard. I'm sorry. It's just inevitable for that right now. I think I'm gonna daze. Yeah, that's fine. Make a two-two. Uh, I make a one-one. Yep. Go ahead. I see. I'm in a pretty. I've always been like my man. Yeah. I don't know if I should have paid. Yeah. I don't know. I was a little greedy on the. I could have paid two life instead. I was a little greedy on that. Uh, yeah. What's the record right now? One zero for friend. Yeah, I just gave up game one because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I'm. I was very behind. Uh, uh team. Uh, minus the mentor. Okay. Interesting. So two one ones, two two twos. Two one ones, two two twos. I guess like probably the correct attack would be everything, right? Because it's lethal if you you no, you'd have to trade. Yeah, I have to trade or block. Uh, well, I guess like you could just block these I two block and go to one. one. Yeah. But then you can't activate pawn for cheap. I don't know. Should I have attacked with the other guy? Probably. I think so. I think so. Do you want to? I don't care. Yeah, you are the aggro deck. Yeah, you are the aggro deck. Yeah, come on in. Take five? Take five. Oh. Uh, dead. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you are the aggro deck. What? Where's the one? Is it the big Opposite one? Opposite of sex. <laughs> uh, island pass. Sorry, I take five. I'm done. Five, right? Yeah. Uh, cards in hand. Two. Hmm. I rolled that next turn. A little rough. Yeah, I think I was a little greedy, but at the same time, I, uh, it depends. We'll see. Torso? I just don't like you having voice of resurgences and stuff. That's the whole point, my a friend. A voice of resurgence? Yeah. That's why I had to pod for it. Yeah. yeah, so this is... I think I have to do it because you just start gaining life, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a 2-4, which just murders me. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is back here again, right? Yep. Um, yeah, I will I will remand that. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yep. And draw a card. Close. 
Yeah. When it dies as well, I can make another. Pretty sure. Sorry, it's spell on your turn. Uh, Any spell, spell on your turn? When a bone casts a spell during your turn or when voice of resurgence dies. Sure. Yeah. That's a super annoying card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a nice basic. Oh, thank you. Seventh edition. Ah, we were just talking about that earlier. Uh, if you want some seventh, seventh edition foils, uh, we have them at enterthebattlefield.ca. We're currently running a promotion for 10% off your order using the promo code ETBPHILLER, uh, and it runs till Monday. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice I, my I, I made the promo code five minutes before we started. You're going to sack that. Yeah, we're not applauded. Sure. All right. Is this a voice of resurgence, or is it a two-two? Two-two. Okay. Two. So, well, um, so there are two creatures, two in, play, creatures in play. There are two. So it's a, it's power and toughness equals the. But does it have the on your no, turn? No, it text. does not. Have, no okay. longer has it. Sure. I don't know if that's correct, but I think I needed to do that because I don't think I can win if I don't. You see how oppressive <laughs> Brother Pot is now. <laughs> it's very gross. Yeah. I need some fire. That's fine. At the bottom? Game four. Ooh. Oh, man. That's a good card. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll Go ahead. Uh, end step. Mm -hmm. uh, Merfolk Trickster. I'm going to tap. Uh, okay, if it, it taps a creature mm -hmm. and it loses all abilities, mm -hmm. so does that just die? I yes. believe so, yes. Okay, so I'll tap your one, three, three. Mm -hmm. Untap. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sweet. What, Merfolk Trickster? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was a very good play. I'm not looking. Grab this man. Uh, mutable. Yep. What's the, what's the little... It's, it's a 1-1 merfolk. So with the Master of Cold Trading, it's a 2-2? Two, two? I, I don't have a Master of Cold Trading. No, a Harbinger of the Tides and a Merfolk Trickster. And a Mutable. I don't have a Lord. Um, yeah, I think I just... You can eat my merfolk, but whatever. Team. I prefer it if you didn't think, um, <laughs> <laughs> and just you could just not block. Go to game three. You no, won game one, right? No, Don't think about one. it. <laughs> you won. I honestly think yeah. I think swinging out was good. Mm -hmm. I know he just eats this. Like well, with, no, he doesn't eat the one one because then he takes six. Right? You take five. Yep, I'm a six. And then you can just go up to pod chain. You're killing my mutavolt. Yeah. But it was just a land. Uh, he never hurt anybody. Double okay, damage. go to one. Yeah. Psionic Blast. Oh, I wish. <laughs> oh, you should play Psionic Blast. <laughs> Nobody expects Psionic Blast. Dude, for me, apparently. I when okay, my 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 Demir like reanimator deck like for Popper, it was like a burn deck at first, and I'm like, yeah. is Psionic Blast a common? And it's not. Uh, so I will definitely pick up a copy. Yeah, uh, you, should you should definitely, definitely play, play Psionic Blast, Blast in this deck. I think that's. <laughs> I think that's people. sick. It's it's they take four, you take two, right? Yeah, they t you uh so it's you deal four damage to any target. Yeah. So creature planeswalker whatever, pass, and then you take two damage, and it is yeah, it's one of the most unexpected blue cards you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. That was rough. I needed a land there. I feel so bad for you. I've been told you can concede at any time.
So not like, I'm not trying to be uh, like cocky or anything. Uh, when I played Chris, I just got absolutely run over two games in a row. It was so bad. <laughs> Uh, so I'm, ha I'm happy to see it like yeah. doing a thing. I think know? we're I think we're slowly tuning your deck to like a good a good competitive level. Yeah, and I think it's actually working pretty well. I also play like mono removal. So yeah, <laughs> it hurt so bad. Yeah. Uh, Phil, actually, was that you on YouTube? Um, on the Merfolk Canlander video? Did you watch the video? No, I didn't. Okay, so there was actually, uh, whatever, you played some sort of creature that took one of the cards from my hand and like hit it under it, oh, yeah. and it was an artifact, uh, and I had a wind robber, but I didn't know it was an artifact creature, so I could have stolen it from you, oh. uh, which would have been a play, but I didn't even know, I never saw that card in my entire life, so I didn't. All right, let's see if you have it or not. No, I think I have to do it. Restoration Angel. Results. <laughs> Trigger. Target. Shirt. Clicker. Shirt. Game, Game four. four. I only have tight holes roller. Tight holes roller is about that. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was Phil. Was an artifact. Yeah, and someone said like, oh, like if only Brennan knew that this was an artifact creature, I and I'm like, I don't. Know. <laughs> that play. Uh, K2. Three. Yeah. Five. Yep. Uh, five. The rest of. Yeah. Result. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Well, I think five. it got away from you, boys. Uh, Karmic guy. Uh, except this is this is the chain, right? We're doing the chain now. Is it just like is no, it a loop? Okay. Uh, uh, sure. Yep. Sure. Sure. What's the one that's? Oh yeah, this is the the Karma knight. Guy. Yeah. Karma guy. I think uh, yeah. I think unless uh, Brennan can uh, a turn all of uh, Phil's lands into islands. In one turn, and then give all of his Merfolk Island Walk in one turn, then, uh... Or even one land in the island, right? Hawaiian Walk. Yeah. yeah. Spreading Seas. Spreading Seas, draw a Lord that gives all your guys an Island Walk, and uh, yeah. you win the game. On oh, my one draw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, spread, Spreading Seas draws you a card, yeah. Oh, so you top <laughs> spreading, <laughs> spreading, <laughs> spreading seas Lord. into Lord of Atlantis. Yeah, top deck Spreading Seas, I mean, yeah, that Lord of Atlantis, win mm -hmm. game. I want to see it. So I, yeah, I don't think... I mean, I'm not dead, right? Like, but I'm also not winning. You're kind of dead. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. I think. Yeah. That, like, like, I assume he can kill me, but like, I don't know how he does it. Um, and I don't want to. He doesn't. He doesn't need to kill you at this point. He's gonna gain value. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my draw for the for the people watching at home. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Did you get it? I'm not gonna look. But, mm -hmm. um, hmm. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a uh, boomerang oh. on, on this token and concede. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, I just need a land next turn. Yeah, island. No, no, no land still. Oh my goodness. Snare. Gosh. Yeah. All right. Game three. That mind twist. I should have mind twisted, but it was a little bit too much pressure. Right? Yeah, the yeah, but I think I would have walked right into a permission spell. Kind of spell uh, cut a water mind. bottle in half yeah. or cut the cannon if I'm interested. So I think I messed up when I um, I played my counters like in a like a sort of out of order. Mm. I like I played the one that like bounced bounced it to the top of your deck. Remember that? Uh, yeah. But like I should have I should have countered the pod like hard countered the pod and yeah. bounced some and like yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because uh, hard counter and pod is, I think, is important because it, if you leave it, because also depending on your deck, right? Um, blue doesn't have amazing one card removal for artifacts? Question mark? Like boomerang. Yeah, what but I like just that's played. still like a soft, yeah. right? It's still soft removal. Um, like, so I don't, I don't even play like the. Um, the new ones from like like Raven Form or whatever the okay, other one is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I just don't want to give you a four four. One. <laughs> uh, and then the other one's a four four. It's like a two minute instant. Does the same thing. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I think maybe Raven Form exiles. The other one doesn't. I think does Raven Form exile only a creature? I don't remember. 
I'm That's not sure. Kaltheim. Yeah. yeah, there's one Kaltheim and one from Strixhaven. That uh, makes like an elemental. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I will play. Five man, land, five mana. Introduction to Annihilation. Exile. Uh, exiled, oh. Uh, you want to reset the thing? Uh, I don't know how to do that. Oh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm I'm playing like um. No, but on the play play draw is very very important, I think. especially for your deck. Yeah. And I just need to draw a few more lands. Wait, like getting like well, that's that like that first game was the reason like why you play Mox. Yeah. Right. Oh, for sure, for sure. You need that. You need that. Maybe get a little, get a threat down. Yeah. Hold up a. Right. Cards. Chance anything, Chris? They're not as uh. Uh yeah, Vile wants wants to have that fill in a game of Mental Magic. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, did Vile say who it was? Is this William or something? Uh, is it Will Sorley? William? We don't Will? know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, Usually I don't watch the chat, but whoever it is, they're allowed to come in and beat up on Phil and Mental Magic. It, it is permitted. It is, you are allowed you can beat me up in Mental Magic. You're playing first, right? Uh, yes. Awesome. Ooh. I've always been having, I've been having this trouble all week. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of one landers. I keep running into uh, weird hands mm -hmm. where... I have a bunch of blue pips, and then I draw like. Yeah, like it's fine to draw later, but I cannot keep it in an opener. No, yeah, you need. Yeah, you're very blue intensive. Yeah. Intensive. Well, mono blue. Yeah, but like most of the good merfolk are like even like the two drop lords or whatever. Double like, blue. Yeah. Yeah, you want you want blue blue. First two turn blue blue. Yeah, so I'm like wasteland strip mine muta vaults faceless haven uh, cavern of souls. No, that's blue blue. Uh, that's I mean, blue well, blue. Um, Cavern of Souls makes it a little bit easier, right, for your Merfolks, because you need Merfolks. It's just the spells. Yeah. The non Merfolk spells gets a little funky. But yeah. But I'm like, I don't know. It's it, I'm happy that I got to like do the thing that I wanted to do with this deck. Like, no, it's great. Like it's win, a... win, lose or draw. If you do the thing, like it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's just, it's, it's a project, right? Like it's a pet yeah. project, and you just keep building upon it. It's like, and I also don't play like blue magic really normally, right? So like, you should play more Dan Dan. Yeah, <laughs> I'm learning. Uh, I'm learning to play blue and like trying to tweak this deck at the same time. We're both growing together. There you go. I just like playing weird magic. It's okay. Oh no. You like, no, you like survival. Of the fittest and no, it's just a good card. <laughs> so I'm on the fittest is just a really good card. Yeah. It's most birthing pod, but it's pretty gross. Yeah, the just I don't know. No birthing pod is just so much value, right? With so many because creature quality goes has been going up and up and up. Yeah. Yeah. So and like, you're just a toolbox, right? Yeah. You just call me a tool. <laughs> that was <laughs> kind of mean. A toolbox. It's, it's the box. I know he beat you though. last game, but I mean. True. Oh man. Uh, I keep and then I'm sad sure. as well. Oh god. Sure. Oh. How, does, how, does, how do I reset this? Uh, so click on the left screen. Yeah. Hit F11. And then it refresh. Uh, then refresh the page. Yeah. Like join. Mm -hmm. That'll say join game. And then hit F11 again. Well, I gotta put one back, right? Uh, yeah, so I keep and I gotta put one back. Uh, this is so bad. Yeah, this too. But I don't think I wanna go down anymore. Yeah, I don't wanna go to five. I think I'm bottoming that. Oh, I'm not even, I don't even get to draw. Okay. Um, yeah. good? Yeah. Close to the card. Okay. <laughs> Snow-covered island, yeah, Rashad and Dock Yeah, island walk. And it's a Rashad and port. Yeah, nice. Good. Yeah. Nice. Rashad and or Rishadan. Rashad. So I'm. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I'm. Uh, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have bought into that card. Whatever. 
Anyway. Arena. Arena land. Why are Phil's beasts so much tinier than Uh, mine are dragon shields. Mine are katanas. Actually, no, these are eclipses. These are eclipses. Right. Uh, ultra power eclipse. Okay, so at this point, mm -hmm. like, you have two mana sources. Mm -hmm. Is it even worth it to, to tap one of them depends. on your upkeep? It depends on what you want to do, I think. What's your, what's your objective? Win. Beat you down. Yeah, but what's in your hand? I don't know what's in your hand, right? So uh, I, I, I have one of those hands that I was just telling you about, okay. uh, where this is my second mana source. Oh, God. Okay. In that case, if you have nothing else to do, then possibility it slows me down a bit. Yeah. Um, you have other things that you have to cast, like for example, a remand, then maybe not. It's also awkward too because this activates. Yeah. And but then this can, also activates. Yeah. But you okay. cannot attack. Um, so, what card is that? Which one? The one you played, I can't even. Oh, Avacyn's Pilgrim. Uh, pass. All right. Up, upkeep. Upkeep. Play. Uh, Death Right Shaman. Sure. Alright, go ahead. Oh god. Death Right Shaman. Unban and Unban Death Right. Legacy? Oh my god. We're just playing banned cards here, mate. I played Punishing Jund and then they banned Death Right and I was a sad boy. Chris, can you see my hand? Uh, yeah, that's a hand. It's a little fuzzy, but I see, I know some of those cards. Okay. Uh, I pass. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Uh, upkeep. Tap a forest. All right. Yeah. Actually, not. Eh, uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, my arena forest? No. Yeah. The, the more expensive of the two. Uh, I mean, I'm in a bad way as well. Yeah, me too. <laughs> if I had a Nykthos, oh baby. Mm-hmm. Combat. Sure. Yeah, that's the one. I'm, I've been warned. <laughs> Go ahead. Heart of the cards. Oh. <laughs> Is this Halo? <laughs> That helps just a little bit. That actually helps quite a bit. Yeah. Extra island. Uh, bounce your death rate on Sure. Uh, pass. Uh, upkeep. Mm -hmm. Right. Draw. Whoa. <laughs> sure. You're up. Actually, no, no, no. You're not up. Okay. You have one blue or one white. Uh, sure, I don't know what it does. Um, when it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand. I choose a non-land card from it, and they discard a card. They discard that card. Uh, so you can see why I needed the uh, the blue Ooh. so badly. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, that is kind of rough. Um, my hail two. You may look at the top card. You may cast more foes. Cast more foes. You may play one. One's a true name nemesis. When it enters the battlefield. So I can just play with them, or play with my hand back here as well.
I thought it was going to be... can't deal with the true name? So I was considering, like, I was considering playing the true name, but I thought, like, bouncing your dork and then For cutting off... Yeah. 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 Okay. Good? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I'll just play with these things. Sure, thank you. Mm. I can't cut you off though, right? I think I try to like push now. Um, this lady who's indestructible. Would you double block this? <laughs> pass? Or it's like pass, pass yeah. priority? Yeah. It's just a 2 2. Oh, okay. Other Merfolk you control. Other Warp Merfolk, right? Other Merfolk, that's right. That's yeah. right. Uh, yeah, thank you. Pass. I want Swords of Plowshares sure back. Oh, but the indestructible. You gain three. Uh, it's outside. You gain three. It's a three, right? Uh, three two. Two. It's a three four? Three, four. Oh, geez. Yeah, you gain, you gain three. One, two. Good. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that should do it. That should do it. Yeah. Uh, black. I'm going to reanimate my green. Okay. Uh, enters. I, gain, I lose four. Oh, it's just s annoying. <laughs> Beginning of each player's up here, you push like a target on an island that lands an island along the flood counter right there in front of all land who plays an island. Those all card flood counters. Tidebinder, kill. Tidebinder, kill. You may look at the top card of your library until you cast. Uh, Emperor Mahal, too. But my card advantage. I know, that's the whole point. I needed those. <laughs> Yeah, no, this sucks. I think I'll bounce your death rage on You mean tap? Is it just tap? Oh, yeah, tap. It taps it down, though. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. So, so it's locked with tap binder. I'll just put it right over here for now. So it's actually locked. Uh, until that under leaves. So are there just like uh, birthing pod chains that you just like go up and that's you win? Like uh, no, this is not like uh, not like a milliard pod or kiki pod. There is. So in old modern, this is why pod was banned is because there are certain chains where you can just yeah go up like a reset pod. A creature up, comes in, untaps an artifact. Untaps pod exactly. Uh, you can sacrifice that one. Um, very famous one like kiki pod. I don't remember the exact chain. But I believe it was like, uh, it's like two drop into three drop, which is like Deceiver Exarch to untap it, pop into four drop. Yeah. And it untaps pod. 
something like that. And it, it's, it's, uh, it is possible. It is very, very possible. But this is not that. This, this is just is not, this value, is value pod. pod. Yeah. I'm just thinking right. on how to go about how I'm going to go about doing that. The main thing about playing pod, especially on a singleton format, is what you have in your library. Right? So yeah. This just takes a little. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, pod's, pod's hard to play. Um, play. In the meantime. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, uh, check out our VODs on YouTube. Uh, we have all of the VODs of every single game of Magic we've ever played on YouTube. People enjoy them. It's great. If you're watching on YouTube, hey, subscribe. Only 63% of the people that watch our videos are subscribed. That could improve. Yes. Sacrifice? Yeah. Impeachment. I need to look. I don't remember my. <laughs> it's all good. Four, four, five. I know what I'm getting for the two, I think, but I just also wanted to know what I had for the five. Mm. That's not that good there. That would have been okay. That is what I'm getting. Chris, are you familiar with pod decks? Uh, familiar as in I've played against the card. I would never play that card myself. No. Yeah, you don't. It's like not it. fair. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it like I don't know. Like, there's a lot of unfair things you do in Magic already, right? But it is just like it's very polarizing. Like, if you stick it, it is like you are getting value off it. Yeah, and he's not even really using it like the unfair way. Yeah. He's kind of just using the card fairly. I just want to get a cool two drop. Yeah, and it's still like painful. With a school. But you know what would have been really good if you played the uh, the death fish that can't be targeted? True uh, name? True name nemesis? Yeah, that would be giving him all kinds of problems. Yeah, so I, I played the thing to try and put him off instead of playing it. True name, yeah. It's hard for me to do it. Yeah. I, I kind of agree with what you were thinking, though, because he was, like, stuck on, like, a couple green mana, and he had the mana dork, and you can just... I'm also just inexperienced with playing with these cards. Like, I know True Name Nemesis is, like, a rough card to come... Like, I know, like, it's pointed for a reason. He basically thought, has like, to, like, edict it. Yeah, which you Yeah, in play, so, like, having... Like, I don't know if he even has a board wipe. Yeah. Like, maybe, but... So that, yeah, that, like... If... If I have the opportunity to stick a true name, you stick the true name? Pretty much, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's an immediate clock and he just can't do anything about it. Two green open. You're gonna eat two creatures. Eat two of the creatures. You gain two life. Oh, you gain life when you eat creatures. Uh, I do. do you get a counter as well? Yeah. Gross. That's why I got that out first. Yeah. Um, whatever. Choo choo. The pain train. I'm gonna eat Mikhail. True. And then I'm gonna eat True Name. Okay, pass. Okay, untap, upkeep, trigger, uh, island. Because I choose, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, draw. So I, I, <laughs> I built this mono blue merfolk deck because I like this card. No, it's great. I think uh, it's interesting. It's 
but it's so slow. It's slow. Like, th there's so many other things you want to do on three. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But I thought, like, maybe, I don't know, I manage rain something. <laughs> I can just uh, play it or whatever. Uh, this card is not revealed to you. Okay, cool. Yeah. You want to pay two life, bro? No, attack first. No, attack first. Uh, I'll take four. Sure. I should attack with the grease, too. I think I'm fully in the That's fine. Uh, two. I'm going to attack the ooze. Are you going to pay two life? No. Nope. I mean, I can, but no. Do you want to? No. Am I dead? No. <laughs> I would almost prefer you play the unfair version of this deck. No, but like... <laughs> just you don't prefer to just die very slowly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last game, I was at 16 and I scooped. I'm <laughs> like, I'm eventually going to lose. <laughs> yeah, because the problem is that it's not reliable. Mm -hmm. Right, in that way. Um, it's not reliable because I only have one pod, right? Last time you tutored for pod, right? Last game? No. You had it and you just drew it both times? I had it, yeah. Okay. Rough. I mean, I would rather, I, I, I would, not rather, but I would also prefer... So there, like, there's like the Simic, the Simic Merfolk deck, which like, I don't know, I don't like as much. But I think it's better. It because you get to play green cards, which are busted. So like, I, I looked at like a lot of the uh, what is this? Sorry. I'm gonna get Renegade Rallyer. I don't even know what that card does. Man. It's up the chain. Oh sure. When it enters the battlefield, if a permanent I controlled left the battlefield this turn. I return a target permanent card with covered mana cost two or less from the battle. Oh my god. So it gets that value. Yeah, yeah that's gross. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, the, the green deck's like... I'm going to eat Harbinger. I kind of want to... Like, I kind of want to splash green a little bit just because I get, like, two yeah. lords that are good. Yeah, you get, what is it, Kumena or whatever as well, too? Kumena, then there's a two-drop that is a lord. Yeah. Uh, there's the Skydiver, which puts a counter on something, yeah. which is fine. There's there's a, um, what's the name of the card? A Metallic Mimic, specifically for Merfolk, but it's a 1-1. One, one. Um, in green? In green, yeah. Like, when you play Merfolk, you put a counter on another Merfolk. Oh, so it's okay. kind of and better. You Realm Walker, which yeah. is a change like Merfolk. You can name Merfolk and you just play it off the top of your library. This is Island Walk. Yeah. Uh, Three. Three. Mm, don't want to do that. Yes. Six. Cool. Okay. Merfolk. Yeah, Metallic Mimic. It's a pretty one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm, like, dead now, but... Yeah, it's Metallic Mimic. Yeah, and the turn I'm going to eat your Merfolk. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to gain one. Seven. Okay. I'm going to make that into an island. Draw. Sorry, in a lethal way? Oh. Uh, pot. Make it two life. No. Make it interesting. Okay. <laughs> this has been like... Yeah. Sea Drive is just like okay. flexing hard. <laughs> For four, that's unfair magic. I take five. I love me fair, fair magic, and Sea Drino gets my seal of approval. It is very fair. Oh, one, one other of your lands is an island. Yep, that's fine. Gotcha. One. Okay. Nice. 
Uh, Merfolk Wind Robber. Yeah, that's a just plus one plus one. Pass. Haha, <laughs> 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 one of your non basics is now an island as well. If it weren't for all your mana dorks, I'd be getting somewhere. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not too bad. Yeah, these are islands. Like, you don't need uh, mana anymore because you have Birthing Pod. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah but one of these days, I'll draw a boomerang. <laughs> White. Prism. <gasps> My boy. I'm trying to kill you, sir. If you could yeah, please stop interacting with my board. I know, right? Combat. Yeah. Fair attacking magic. Fair attacking magic. Yeah. Uh, That's that, 11. If you it's 11? Block, if you block. 4 4, 4 5. Three, Does Seedrun have trample? No. Does it? Does it have trample? I play stupid Japanese cards. Doesn't trample. it have. I think so, yeah. It, says, it has a keyword. Yeah, it has a keyword. I think it says trample, yeah. Can you search Seed right now? Oh my god, is this Kana? It has Trample? Yeah. Uh, walk. Okay. Take seven. Sure. Three. Okay, then, 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 then I get it. I have it. Yeah. Uh, green. Two. Tap. Sack. Seed Rhino. You want to play two? Two uh, life? Sure. Alright. <laughs> Just for you, Brandon. Is there something that's going to bolt me now? No. I just... It's a four. Sure. It's a four, so I get Karmic Guide back. And then it brings it back into the battlefield. And then you take three. Okay. But thank you. So, yes. <laughs> so, so, yes, something is good. Yeah, but anyway. Um, the... I don't... The one card that will kind of hurt if I will... If I'm able to... Get it out via like a reanimator yeah. combo is Elishnorn. Ooh, Elishnorn yeah. Here. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I played an Elishnorn in here to, you know, just beat up on little guy, Vex. Yeah. As you should. Yeah, that's one should. Um, but thank you. Those were, I mean, the it was pretty high pressure for a lot of the. Uh, I was able to stabilize, luckily, but. Um, thank you. Very, very no, <laughs> I, I try my best. <laughs> It's very high pressure um, um, for the because the but, tempo, right? And you're you're going wide aspect. The longer the game goes, like the card quality of your deck just like yeah. destroys mine, yeah. right? Like the card quality. Yeah, the, the creature qualities were. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the. So like I, I like the mono blue like uh, version because like I get to play like a weird sort of like controlly game, mm -hmm. but you miss out on the like. You miss out on two two mana lords, mm -hmm. um, and you are forced to play like metallic mimic as like like just you could, you would still play metallic mimic in the other deck, but now you're just missing like two lords that mm -hmm. don't cost three. And green, green has a lot of powerful utility cards. Right? Yes. That a lot of the lists I was looking at like don't actually have that much green in them. No, no, right. But, but like. It, yeah. But the green cards, like, the few green cards they have is pretty high, like, impact. Yeah. Right? Um, but anyway, no, that's fun. I'm glad you are getting into Canlander. Yeah, thank uh, you for the games. That was awesome. You, yeah. uh, okay, so, uh, I think the stream is finished. Chris, do you want to do the, do you want to do an outro by yourself, all by your lonesome? Uh, can you do one by myself? Yeah. Uh, I think it says... There we go. All right. I guess I'm doing this alone. I'm totally solo. They hung me out to dry here. Um, thanks for tuning in. I know they played Dan Dan. I know they played Canlander. I know they played Bopper. I don't know what else they played. Battle Box. They played Battle Box. Nice. Um, you can use the code ETV Filler. That's P H I L L E R for the next couple days to get 10% off of your order at EnterTheBattlefield.ca. I know we have Canadian Highlander in Newmarket on Saturday, and that if you look over here, there's a poster of 
uh, it's 20 bucks, and then you can use 10 proxies. We throw an extra five bucks in. The group's really good. Come to that. If you're closer to Oakville, there's also Legacy, a Legacy 1K there on Saturday as well. I think that starts at noon. It either starts at noon or registration's at noon. I think it, yeah, it probably starts at noon. Uh, so I'd show up before then. Um, that's really good. I got 27 people last time, something like that. Uh, so hopefully there's even more this time. Uh, we have the Pioneer face-to-face -face qualifier for Wave 2, um, October 15th here at the New Market Store. Uh, you can pre-register for that online. It's on the website. And next, do we know what we're doing next week? Uh, we, we might do a, a, a different World Championship deck series, uh, or unknown. All right, so we have unknown or whatever next week um so we'll figure out what we're doing and we'll post about that so no. tune into our social media things and so on and so forth and thank you for hanging out with us and chilling on twitch and then thanks for watching the vods if you do that as well too all the click sub subscribe whatever all those kids say these days all those things hit the, hit, 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 whatever that, hit that the buttony that's thing that's <laughs> yeah, i'm an old thing. man i don't know what's We're, going on yeah, well, all right. And stream at the ball. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> and girls and everyone else.